Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we started diving a little bit into Project E, and let me tell you, I really like Project E. So today, we're doing more with Project E, moving ever so slightly closer to the endgame goals, because we need to make things like Infinity Catalyst turning into Infinity Ingot, and yeah, it, it's a process. But in order to make these things, we need a bunch of different materials, some of which has EMC levels, such as the Crystal Matrix Ingot, or if we go into the Ender... Uh, what is this called? Endless Pearl. We have things like nether stars, and yeah, those things are basically a pain to farm normally, but with Project V, e, we get that up and running pretty quickly, or hopefully fairly easily anyway, once it's set up, and that is what we will be doing today. AKA while we have a wall of drawers, which I'm hoping to connect up to the system. You'll see when, when we get started. Now, as we found out in the last episode, using the energy condenser, we can use things that has an EMC value. For example, a stack of diamond has half a million, 24,288 uh, EMC. And say we take something like steel, which also has an EMC value. I can put this in here. And we can turn the diamonds into steel ingots, or basically the EMC worth of steel ingots. So the steel ingot has an EMC value of 252, one diamond has 8,000 something, and then you can proceed to do the math. We will get a lot of steel ingots from just a stack of diamonds. Now a stack of diamonds, yes, it is half a million EMC. However, a stack of emeralds is 1,048,500, meaning emeralds has a higher EMC value that we can use to turn into other items. And wow, that's a lot more steel than I had anticipated. So say we have energy condenser hooked up to, oh, I don't know, Emerald chickens, perhaps? Yes, I have been doing breeding off camera in between episodes here, making sure that we have 10 out of 10 out of 10 emerald chickens available for use today. I think you I think I think you see where I'm going with this. However, I don't want to use an energy condenser. I want to get an upgraded energy condenser, which is energy condenser mark 2, which is a little bit of a process, but I have already begun working towards it. I, th I think we can stop it now. I can't even fit this much steel in my inventory. <laughs> yep, 1,300, and yep, I, I don't think I have enough. Yep, uh, I need an upgrade. Be right back. Just need to quickly make some... Take two. Just quickly need to make some uh, copper upgrades, and uh, boom, and boom. That, yeah, there we go. Much better. Now, the reason why I want uh, a my energy condenser mark two, I will show you that in just a moment. I have already made sure that I have everything that I need in order to make another energy condenser, because before I use up this one, I do want to duplicate it so we can farm it, quote unquote, farm it, or quote unquote. Du I guess it is duplicating, but we are spending something to get it. I, what do you even call EMCing? I want to EMC that so we could use it for other things as well, because it is actually useful in, well, getting the transmutation, for example, or getting, well, that's really it. But yeah, I, I want to I want to farm it up. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I do want to add some, a few diamonds in here, and I want to make sure that I have more of just a few things here, such as these dusts, just go ahead and add those really quickly, and we will set automation up for these as well later today, as well as this amethyst bronze. There we go. We can take all of this, and do I need for the Mark II? Yeah, I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good to sacrifice this to get a Mark II. Maybe. Actually, hold on. I need to make an al alchemical chest first of all, and then I want to duplicate that real quick, just so we have a few of these as well. Just a few. All right, and there we go. This should be, well, once it's done, should become another Mark I energy condenser. While that is running, I went ahead and upgraded our energy collector, which we made in the last episode, to a Mark III. Now, this thing does produce EMC passively. It produces 40 EMC a second, which is a bit slow for what we need. So it's not really useful other than using it to upgrade our energy condenser to Mark II. 
So that is one of the ingredients done, and I also should have dark matter, or enough to make a dark matter block, and I should also have red matter right here. So I have basically everything, I think, except for a compacting drawer. There we go, which I have now. Now all I need to make is the antimatter relay. Now this thing is actually useful for not only getting us to Mark II, but also to charge items. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, what I do need is an alchemical chest. This is why I wanted multiple things, so I can use it for production. <laughs> and a furnace. There we go. Nice. And it's actually really nice that in the screen you can just hover over this thing and it will show you what you actually need, even though it is the energizing process. But I think that is everything except for a diamond block. All right. And the energy condenser is now done. So I can now go ahead and give all these items to this. Don't know how long that's going to take. Instantaneous. There we go. So we have now the antimatter relay mark one. I just want to instantly get this thing leveled up to max level, which is going to require just four obsidian and uh, four, and then some dark matter. And that should give us a Mark II antimatter relay, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. And we can go ahead and upgrade this to what happens if I click the plus? Oh, it gives me Oh, okay. All right, relay Mark II, four obsidian, one red dark Red dark matter? No, red matter. And there we go, antimatter relay mark two. However, I do want to go ahead and get at least one more, just so I have one, because like I said, this thing is actually useful for charging things up. Will we make it? You know what? I will make sure that we make it. Oh, we made it just perfectly. Nice. So now I can take this basically and just plop it over here for now. And with that, I believe that we now have everything. Oh, that. I believe that we now have everything we need to get the Mark II off the. Yep, it's gonna cost 15 million FE, but we do have the power for it. So all we need to do now is wait. In the meantime, just to show you, we could add some energy collectors to this thing. And I'm pretty sure, yep, both of these are indeed charging this Mark III relay. Now there are a few things that we can make that I really actually that I really want to make, especially for the next episode where I'm hoping that we will be dealing with the mother silverfish. Some things that are really going to help us. One of them is the Swift Wolves rendering gale. And we're also going to need the clean star. This thing right there. And another thing that I really want to make as well is the body stone. Knowing it does that. <laughs> and the soul stone. And let, let's try that again. The soul stone. There we go. These things, first of all, this thing is really cool. I'll show you what it does when we actually craft it. The body stone basically restores our hunger and the soul stone heals us. Yes, very nice. However, they are of course not just infinite. They need a sort of, some sort of power and the clean star is actually what can give us this power. The clean star when charged is essentially just like having a battery on us. Just like we have the charged porter, which gets charged using power. We will have the soul stone and the body stone and the swift wolves rendering gale being charged from EMC by us having a clean star that is then charged. You'll see. Anyways, this is now done and we now have a Mark II energy condenser. And with that, I'm pretty sure if I go ahead, this is why I wanted another energy condenser. I remember now so that I can produce more of these. I'm going to need a lot more diamonds than that. I feel like it, it is going to take a little bit of time, though. In the meantime, we can go ahead and make the body stone, the, the body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, soul stone and body stone. And we can actually turn these into the life stone, which just combines the two stones right there, which is really cool. This is also very easy to get. We just need a nine band. Huh? This is easily enough. If I just take one fat, if I just take one feather after this is done, there we go. Energy condenser back to. So now we have two of them, which is awesome. Take that away. We put the feather in 
And boom, we now have a lot of feathers. So like I was saying, we can just go ahead and do that right there, but I won't use them right now. We can equip them in our bubble slot, but we won't do it just yet. What we need to make is some clean stars, which I already actually have one, which is perfect. I'm just going to grab a few diamonds here, add them to this, put that there. At, oh, dear me. Okay, I don't need that many. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that I was going to make that many. Um, okay, I'm going to quickly add them to my storage real quick. Hopefully not crash the system. Now, these things, they work as a battery. However, we can get better batteries just like this. And I'm just going to make all the ones that I possibly can uh, add them to this. That's my grid. Can I get my grid back, please? Crafting grid. Yep. Thank you. Okay, let's try that again. Star. So this is, these are the second ones. They have they can they can hold a higher value of EMC. Now we can go ahead and choose these, and we can make two of them. Now we get to the part where I can actually duplicate. So I need just one and two more. Boom. That's two more. I then combine these in here. It's annoying. I can't shift click them in there. That would be a nice addition. There we go. And now I just go ahead and add that there, add more diamonds to the pile. And I just need to get three more from this. That's one, two more. And there we go. We now have two more, which we can then combine into the sphere. And we can actually put it one further to get three more. However, they are starting to get really, really ex expensive, as you can tell. One is worth six million and two hundred thousand EMC. So this is gonna have to sit here for quite a while while we do some other things. Other things being unlocking this first of all, because I don't want those right there. We're going to be producing energy condensers Mark II. So I'm going to put that right there, and we are going to get started using these emerald chickens. <laughs> on our duplication project, EMCing project. And it's actually going to be quite simple. All I'm going to need is some pipes. I'm going to be needing some advanced pipes. However, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a thing here. Uh, make a stack. Then uh, upgrade. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Nope, that is. Upgrade that stack. And then upgrade these. <laughs> We have the resources to just being able to click the stuff like that. That's awesome. Next, I need a roost. Yep, so I'm going to steal you real quick. Place you down. Put you in here. Take a stack of... Yep. That's why I want the Mark IIs. Because it has two inventory slots. Also, I don't think I'm ever going to need... Um... More roosts. <laughs> I just filled up our inventory. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, put this back. There you go, fella. Back home. Now we are basically ready to set this up. Where is my pipes wrench? There we go. All right. So, first of all, this is going to be locked to hold Mark IIs because we're going to be needing one Mark II to each of these drawers. And back here, finally behind the door here, as you can see, I have made out some space. So, I am going to place an item pipe. Then a Mark II chest right there. Then another pipe and a roost, just like so. Now this roost is then going to have one or 16 emerald chickens, depending on really how expensive the item that we're trying to make is. And in fact, I will need to go ahead and grab the one that we have in here. Because if we place this in here, emeralds are going to go on the left side and the output is going to go on the right. If we just did it with Mark 1s, what would eventually happen is the emeralds, depending on how many emerald chickens we have, of course, would basically fill up the entire chest, not leaving enough space for the output, and that would clog up the system. However, with this, we can ensure that we always have space for outputs and always have space for emeralds. And if we get too many emeralds, it'll just go all the way up here and stop emerald production. Now, what we need to do is set this to output, set this to output, of course. Then we need to hold down shift, right click to insert one advanced pipe on each of these ends, just so it can transfer faster. Because if I remove this, transferring four items every 26, that's way too slow. 
However, if I go ahead and add the upgrade, transferring 32 items every five ticks, that's much faster. What we need to do now is feed it emeralds. And as you can see, now this process is going to be slower because of course this thing is really expensive. It is six, six and a half million EMC. However, if we go to the front here, you'll see that it says zero and then very soon it should say, yep, there you go, one. Job son. And so that process is basically what we need to do for the remaining drawers. So before we do things like nether stars and whatnot, then I do want to make sure that we have things like dust and whatnot secured that I may need for other projects. Also, I kind of got away from it, but I can put my clean star in here and it's going to charge it. And this is going to be cool. I'm, I'm just going to leave it here actually to charge. We'll get back to it when we need to defeat the, the wither to get one other star that we can then go ahead and duplicate. Actually, wrong. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let this finish and I'm going to get the Omega because that's going to be a lot better. Just like so, the Omega and then I'm leaving this in here to charge. So now all I need to do, well, all, quote unquote, I just need to go ahead and set all of this up i want to be producing energy condensers as well so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process again just going to show you one more time pipe pipe and what we need to do is actually click so it doesn't really matter if these are connected it doesn't really matter if these are connected either so energy condenser in here to set this output output where is my upgrades add add and one emerald chicken is quite slow if we add 16 again it'll go a lot faster and just like so we should now be generating boom energy condensers mark ones well basically just because we can and we already have 12 <laughs> <laughs> of the normal energy condensers. Only downside to this is you need to wait for the chickens to finish breeding because these don't actually have EMC, an EMC value. So that is unfortunately sad times. Now I should say as well for these things so far I have added 16 emerald chickens but for some things like this dust right here which really does not take a whole lot of EMC like if I just show you the value of this is quite low. Well, the high is high, but it's quite low. And for the lower things, really 16 chickens is going to be, well, way too much. So what I'm going to try and go ahead and do is just add one emerald chicken, set this to low, and then you'll see how much one emerald chicken produces. Oh, helps if I do that. And yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's boom. Just one procedure of the emerald chicken, it seems. Actually, we can see it right here when it goes through. Yep, pretty much two and a half stacks of the dust. And because we're not using that much dust at a time, it's good enough. And honestly, even for this one up here, it is 8,320 per uh, high covalence dust. But just with one emerald chicken, we're producing more than enough because, again, we're not using that much dust at a time. This is perfectly fine. It's just for something to stand in the background and generate, basically. We can always come back here and improve... <laughs> Increase the amount of emerald chickens. Oh, my. This is, um... This is fun. Oh, I haven't even... I haven't set that. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, make sure that you actually set what it needs to produce in there, otherwise, uh, well, you won't get very far with your production now, will you? Aha, uh -huh. we have run out of power in our controller. That is very, very interesting. We are currently producing 40 RF a tick, and if I just go ahead and take this augmentation and put that in this dynamo, we're now producing 160 RF a tick, and there we go. Okay, so our usage has raised to 62 FE a tick. So I basically need to go ahead and make an upgrade integral component. Actually, I already have a hardened one. All I really need to do, something that I would love to even see as well, actually, is Signalium. Because it's a bit of a pain to deal with. But for now, reinforced integral component. 
can go in there and we are now producing 120 RF attack. Okay, good. And this can go back to where it rightfully belongs. Oopsie, I made a pretty big mistake here. I forgot to add an advanced pipe upgrade to these roosts now because just having one emerald chicken, it does not affect it. But if you do later want to add more chickens to the system, not having these is going to be quite a bit of a problem. Now I just went ahead and added dark matter as well as red matter to the production line here. And well for these, having one chicken is really not going to be enough because they're quite expensive. They take a lot of EMC, so really getting these to 16 is going to be my ideal uh, scenario here. Which might be doable with one of them, 7. Yeah, almost. Now while I'm waiting for more emerald chickens to breed, what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and connect these drawers to this storage controller and then this storage controller to our storage network so we can access all these things from our terminals. So all I need to do is right click this and then select all the drawers right here. Boom, 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 boom. And that looks a bit odd. I'm sure it's fine. Then I need to make some way for me to get to the other side. And well, eh, eh. Yep, that, I think that's gonna have to be moving a pipe over like so. All right, there is our drawer. Let me go back a little bit more and go back right here. Um, oh, perfect. I'm trying to break with a linking tool. Yeah, this would actually, yeah, that, this would go right in. If we just go like so, and then lead it up like this, then bring it down, external storage on top of that, connect it, I think. If we go over here, then search dark matter, yep, red matter shows up, these things shows up. Perfect. Now, something else that I want to do in this episode, other than fighting the Wither and get another star and get that automated as well, I want to get ready for the Mother Silverfish fight in the next episode. And one of the things that we need to do is make sure that we have all of these things right here, which I believe that I have all of it, almost. So if I search for Silverfish Shards, I have 16 Warm Silverfish Shards, which is exactly what I need to summon the Mother Silverfish once. And the cold silver fish shards, I have one, unfortunately. Now, these you find, I believe, in stone dungeons, I believe I read. So that's either in this area, which it must be because I have one of them, or in these smaller ones as well. I don't know what those are, so exploring those would be kind of cool. Then we also need some ritual starters, which I have eight of those, and those can be found in the end dungeons, which is this one right here. So today one of my goals is also to find a bunch more cold silverfish shards, and honestly I need warm silverfish shards as well, because in the next episode not only are we going to fight the mother silverfish, hopefully we're gonna be farming it. Now, as we are about to fight the wither to get a nether star, so we can add it to our collection over there, I want these two things to work. And that is why we've been chatting this with 188 EMC. So if I have this on me, in the clean star slot, I now have basically EMC power on me, which means I can basically press G, and this thing is now on. And as you saw, my hunger bars just went gold, and that is because this thing will keep me saturated, draining the clean star ever so slowly. But as long as we have a clean star that is charged, we should be good. Now this thing is really cool, this ring. I can just add it to my ring slot. It's a little bit powerful. Very cool though. Basically, I can fly. <laughs> now again, it is using EMC from our clean side, as you just saw there, the number changed. So it is draining it ever so slightly, or ever so slowly, but it is really, really awesome and very useful for fighting things. No longer will I really need the, the jetpack, so I guess I can go ahead and add that to this. And yes, I I know, I wait a minute, am I charging it? Yes. 
I still need to clean this up. One important thing that I forgot to do, set the priority to this to 100 or more, because this thing needs to be prioritized more than the drives, because my dark matter just got put in the system there and not this system. Now, what I'm also going to make is apparently what is called a watcher flowing time gives 18 bonus ticks to nearby blocks every tick each tick nearby mobs move 0.1 times the speed so i want to try and do that it just requires me to put a clock in here dark matter blocks in this glowstone obsidian and i basically need to let this run through this six times in total so there we go three out of 18 so i just need to do that five more times and then I assume I just charge it using EMC, and then I can have it on a pedestal, and it will affect items or blocks around it. I'm pretty sure anyway. And there we go. This has now been done, and we can actually go ahead and look at the quest here. Uh, we'll speed up machines nearby you at the cost of EMC. So again, I assume I put... Oh, I don't put this in here. Hmm, how is it going to then work on a pedestal? is my question. Well, let's find out. This pedestal, by the way, is made by five dark matter blocks and four red matter. So if I place this right here, place this on top. So this is now active. It does work. Oh, wow. I don't know how it's collecting EMC. Is it collecting that from me or... doesn't look like it. But wow. <laughs> if I stand back... Yeah, it still works. I don't know where it's getting the EMC from. But uh, if I click this again, punch it to get it out. It doesn't have an EMC value, which is going down. So that's... I like that. Wish I had made that way, way sooner. Oh no, <laughs> the chicken. Well, there we go. Now we will have dark matter generating way faster. Now there are some things that are not EMCable, such as wither skeleton skulls. If you want wither skeleton skulls, either go hunt for them or make a farm for them. Otherwise, things would be a little bit too easy at times. Also, yes, that is something that I was looking at. We do have this energy collectors plus, as it says here, from the add-on extended exchange, reach much higher tiers, introducing exponentially more EMC uh, per second. So if we take the basic energy collector, it produces basically one EMC a second. However, we could use it to upgrade it. Um, maybe not. Well, if we go up to, for example, Mark IV, which we need to make some other matters and whatnot to get, it becomes to 160 sec uh, 160 EMS EMC per second. And as you can see, the further up we go, <laughs> the more powerful it becomes. So something that we could go ahead and do is just make this. Um, and then... Energy, there it is. Just so I get that quest completed. This is a lot of quests, actually. I'm happy, but I think with everything set, it's time to clear, kill the wither one more time. And for that, we might as well go... Why does this thing not have power? Oh, this thing needs its own power. Well, that's very easily fixed. Just go ahead and add an ender cell to this. Boom. <laughs> Problem solved. Alright. To the end land or the end ring we go. Nice. And we also have this thing. The the uh, I can't I, I can't pronounce that. The ring of arrows. And I'm pretty sure because we have the clean star on us, this thing is just gonna get charged from that. Oh boy, do I f do I continue to fight in this mess or do I make a new tunnel for it? I mean I don't really live here, so honestly. Oh <laughs> I think it's fine. Maybe. I mean I can just fly, so there we go. Hello. This should be an easy fight, actually. I'm wrecking my tunnel a little bit. Now we just need to do this. Oh yeah, this is an easy fight. Haven't gotten with it once. Don't tell me I'm gonna die to Enderman. 
Please don't. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> there we go. A legendary loot crate. I, I get it. A jerry can. Not. That's not. Anyway. Back home. That was quick. Hmm. It actually doesn't get charged. But I can just. Uh, it got used to generate EMC. Um, yeah. It, I use it to generate EMC instead of charging it. Um, hmm. There we go, it's back. Good. Nothing ever happened. See, right here. Yeah, def, def. Yeah, no, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Don't know what anyone is talking about. All right, let's set up the Nether Stars. So, energy condenser back two. I will also need some emerald chickens. <laughs> oh, I have so many of them now. That is so nice. All right, item pipe. I can. What's my wrench? What's my wrench? Get rid of this. Output. Oh, well. Wow. Well, that'll help it along a little bit. Let's add it in there. This is set to output. We can do this. Add this here. We can remove these. Set this to output. Put this in. Stack of emeralds. And boom, just like so. We're generating no stars like it's nothing. <laughs> and we're full on emerald chickens. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, with that out of the way, I need to get some silverfish shards, some cold silverfish shards, and that is. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna need to, I think, upgrade my hammer a little bit. I could probably make some modifications to this, so maybe if I had... I mean, I have, like, cobalt now and stuff like that, which would probably make for better head and things. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can just replace if I went ahead and made, for example, a cobalt... Hammerhead. I actually do want to kind of test this now. Uh, no idea how expensive it's going to be, though. Eight cobalt ingots would be how expensive the, uh, how expensive it is. Yep, I can just go ahead and replace the head, which increases the durability, and mining speed is increased as well. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Cause that's a pretty neat upgrade. Now, I would actually like to explore some of these smaller dungeon areas here that are scattered on the left and this could be connected to something else because that's what is right here well it would be nice to check that out as well because it does look like they are separate so i think we're gonna try and make it to that one and i can just fly through the tunnel now <laughs> this is really really cool guys if there's any rings or stuff like that that you would recommend please do let me know down below in the comments because yeah this is this is pretty sweet and i'm pretty sure yep life zones should still be active so i shouldn't go hungry well ever again as long as i have emc nice and yes this does actually feel a little bit faster than before all right i should basically be right on top of it i think i think it is however at minus 65 because that is what it says right there. So well minus 52 right there. So I'm just gonna try and dig straight down I can always fly if need be So Yeah, I'll see you down there. I do see mobs on the map though. So We need to be a little bit careful and yes, I can confirm the life crystal is in fact It just kicked in right now. Never gonna go hungry again. Whoa. There we go. I just fell. I just fell Phew. Thank you, flying. Okay. Get the... Don't attack me. Now I'm hoping that that's going to be... Oh, wow. Looting this is going to be so much easier. Now that we're able to just fly and have way better armor and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and light this up. Okay. That's not what I expected would happen. I believe I have my... Yep. This thing right here. I just go ahead and kill all of these nasties. Maybe place some torches here and there. I'm not seeing. Okay, I am seeing a chest actually, so hopefully it's not trapped. Please die, all of you. That would be very kind of you. Very nice. Okay, don't need all this junk. I will take the loot chest, even though 
That's probably not. That's a Suli. Yep, but yep. Not really interested. Let's see what we've got in the chest. Ooh! Cold silverfish shot. That is exactly what I wanted. I guess I will. Yeah, yeah, I might do that. That's a skeleton spawner. Okay. Well, not a huge amount of loot, but here is what I think we'll do. We'll actually go ahead and circle home real quick. I think I'm going to call this episode here, and then I am going to, well, basically right away record another one where we are trying to loot. Just We're just going to try and loot this dungeon right here, because I haven't gotten very far and I didn't really go back into it. But I think now with, well, being able to fly and basically shoot infinite amount of arrows, even though it does say store DMC at zero, but it's still shooting, so I think it's fine. We'll basically go in there in the next episode. It's going to be a little bit of a mini episode, I guess. We're not going to do anything other than uh, going ahead and attacking that fortress or dungeon and hoping it, that it goes better than the first time. So, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. We... <laughs> Hold on, I actually need a screenshot of that. That'll be, hopefully, the thumbnail anyway. But guys, like I said, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope that the, the, what I made, what I said with all these things actually made sense. I've had a hard time uh, wording myself apparently lately. So hopefully I am understandable. Not understandable. So, see what I mean? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. Enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, goodbye. Yeah.